Hi guys, welcome to Zip Planning. This video ay tutuloy natin yung series natin on Inscribed Angle Theorem. No? So, sa previous videos ay nasolve or na-prove na natin itong dalawang uh, cases na ito. Case 1 and Case 2 na Inscribed Angle Theorem. So, na-prove natin that angle B is half the measure of the intercepted arc. No? So, ito yung angle B natin. No? This is our angle B and yung intercepted arc natin. So, yung case 1, dumadaan yung uh, isang chord ng, o oh, yung isang side ng angle doon sa center ng circle, while case 2, napagkitnaan, o oh, nasa gitna yung uh, center, no? Nasa gitna. Hindi, not, not, not nasa gitna, but nasa interior sa nung angle. Now, for case 3, nasa exterior naman siya nung angle. So, ito yung angle natin. And we want to show that it's also a half, no? Now, kung napanood yung previous video, very similar yung proof, no? Uh, alam natin that uh, if we draw a line, no, unang gagawin natin is, katulad sa previous two videos, or previous two proofs, no? We draw an auxiliary line. So, proof muna. We have statement and reason reasons okay we have um, now alam natin from the angle addition postulate na angle ABC no? angle ABC plus angle CBD no CBD is equal to measure of yung malaking angle diba angle ABD therefore no measure of angle ABC Ito yung gusto natin kunin, di ba? Yung sa taas. Ito actually yung gusto natin kunin. So, kunin natin yung angle ABD. So, measure of angle ABC, yun yung gusto natin kunin, is equal to measure of angle ABD minus measure of angle CBD. So, ito na yung unang statement natin, no? by the angle addition postulate. No? So, measure. Uh, before pala yan, we draw, draw BD. And again, kaya tayo nakapag-draw ng line because the, the postulate 1 of Euclid, yun yung two points determine a line. Meaning, if you have any two points, you can draw a line uh, passing through them, no? So, of course, if you can draw a line, you can draw a line segment. Number two, we have from the discussion natin kanina, measure of angle yung malaki. Oh, sorry. Itong ABC yung gusto natin makuha. ABC is equal to measure of angle ABD minus measure of angle yung ABD yung malaki, tapos babawasan mo tong maliit. CBD. Para makuha mo itong angle na ito. Itong angle na ito. Okay? But from case 1, no? Ano ang measure ng angle Ano ang measure ng angle this is addition, angle addition postulate. Postulate. Addition to, ah. Okay. But what is the measure of angle ABD? A, B, D. Di ba yun yung arc na yan? Arc siya nito. And from case, uh, case 1, 
na prove na natin that ABD is one half of the intercepted arc, di ba? Pag pag nag uh, pag dumadaan siya sa sa center, di ba? Ito 'yun. Pag dumadaan sa center half, half nito ang measure nito, no? Ibig sabihin, we can write one half, no, of AD, measure of arc AD. And then minus yung CBD naman, C BD. It still contains the the diameter or the one passing through or the cord passing through the center. Meaning half din siya, di ba? Half din siya nito. Half din siya nito. Arc na yan. So, it's equals to one half times measure of angle. Of arc. Not angle, but arc. Of arc, CB. Okay. This is by case 1. Result of case 1. Ang reason niya is a result of case 1. Next. If I factor out 1 half, I'll have measure of angle AB. Minus measure of angle CB. Okay. But ako angle ng angle arc, measure of arc AD, and measure of arc CD. AD sa arc CD, no? So this is by distributive property. Pwede tayo mag-factor because of distributive property. Pag binalik natin siya, magiging babalik siya dun sa dati. Okay? But AD, what is AD minus CD? AD yung arc na yan, minus CD, this is actually arc AC. So, this is one half measure of arc AC. So, this is by arc addition. Arc addition. And substitution. So, naka two column tayo. Lahat ng, ng, lahat ng sinabi natin dito ay meron tayong reasons. No? So, this is uh, meaning the measure of angle arc Sorry, the measure of angle ABC is equal to one half measure of arc AC, which is exactly, which is exactly what we want to prove here. Yeah, measure of angle ABC is equal to one half the measure of arc AC. Okay, so pasensya na kayo sa sulat kasi siksikan, no? Anyway, excuse ko lang yan, pangit talaga yung sulat ko. Okay, so maraming salamat. Sana may natudunan kayo sa ating uh, tutorial, no? And uh, this is the last doon sa concept development. Ang mga susunod na nating pag-aaralan is paano na natin gamitin yung natutunan natin sa inscribed angle theorem doon sa ibang theorem sa geometry. No? Ano ang connection, no? Uh, between the inscribed angle theorem and other theorems such as yung Thales theorem saka yung cyclic quadrilateral. So, i-discuss natin yan kung bakit gano'n yung kanilang. Yung mga theorems na you can prove that using the, the uh, inscribed angle theorem. Okay, maraming salamat. Gusto ko invite sa ating uh, website, sipnine.com at sa ating YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash sipnine.ph. Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next video.